friend of mine recently posted on Facebook that she had spent much of the summer watering and caring for and tending to some tomato plants. And she was very distraught because at the end of the summer, all that effort and money and time came to be only two lousy tomatoes. She put this on Facebook, like I said, and then a bunch of other people started commenting, saying, don't worry, here's things you might want to try. Did you try this? Did you try that? Very gently trying to offer her advice and also pointing out the bumper crops they might have had, offering to share some of their tomatoes and really trying to encourage her that next year could be a better year for tomatoes and often is. And the experience of time shows us that one bad summer, one failed attempt, one poor experiment does not make a pattern. And I was thinking about this in the context of Christianity and of faith. You'll remember there's a famous story in Luke chapter 8 where Jesus is talking about sowing of seeds. And some of the seed lands and birds eat it. Some of the seed lands and it grows really quickly, but then it gets hot and it dies. Other seeds will take proper root and actually grow. As Christians, we get very disappointed. We get very disheartened. It really hurts when we invest in people and then they walk away doesn't really matter why they walk away. Uh, I mean, there's a gradation here. If people are really angry with us, maybe that creates one reaction. But some people just kind of slip off into the night and you never hear from them again. Either way, it's very, very disappointing. And I'm sorry to say that I hear from more and more Christians that we're actually getting pretty cynical about the well-being and the long-term health of the church. I know that since the 60s, really, we've had a pretty rough go. We've been on the decline ever since then. I believe that we're in the period we're in and we simply have to live it, enjoy it, do our part, do our gardening, and God takes care of the long-term well-being. I believe it's a matter of faith that we continue to sow the seeds, trusting that ultimately God knows what he's doing. Just like those gardeners who know from years of experience that one bad year of tomatoes doesn't mean you're going to have endless bad years of tomatoes. We, the church, have been around for 2,000 years because one bad year, one bad decade, even a bad century doesn't tell the whole story. So let's be people who have our chins up, our shoulders back, ready to explain to others the beauty of the gospel, the beauty of the story, the love, the tenderness, the forgiveness we have in Jesus Christ, because whether they take it or not, whether they accept it or not, we know that God is the ultimate gardener and he will take care of the long-term well-being of each and every one of his children and each of his churches. So today I would challenge you to think of somebody you can share the gospel with, or at least to be praying for the well-being of your congregation, its leadership, the, the staff, the elders, however your church is set up, and just pray that God would honor the sowing that they are doing. And we'll let God decide how that looks.